This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons over on Patreon. I would like to give a huge shout out to Anina, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Edelis, Dre, Thomas, Tara, Zoe, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Willow, Danny, Blessing, Avery, Maddie, Alexia, B, Max, T, Taylor, M, Lovely, Antonina, Anna, Valen, Ali, Obsessed, Rihanna, Nicole, Carnations, Kristen, Tequila, Autumn, Emily, Sarah, Vanessa, Nini, Nura, Matcha, Ava, Yasmin, Leah, Kayla, Ali, Ginny, Vika, Inez, June, Elizabeth, Penguin, Sammy, Roland, Rose, Lydia, Mila, Adrian, Lexi, Baina, Chi, Madison, Beck, Jemaya, Mads, Rachel, Daisy, Honeybee, Jade, Hooves, Rose, Alice, Cadence, Sponge, AJ, Kate, Jay, Praxid, Nicole, Terry, Hallow, Rebecca, Allison, Jacqueline, Jacaria, Mina, Lilith, Ange, Jasmine, Lizard, Haley, Kiki, Illyria, Lady Demista, Zebra, Lala, Ari, Amy, Busy, Molly, Xylosaurus Rex, and Lunaris Galaxia. If you would like to support the channel and get some pretty cool perks, such as exclusive weekly audios and novel readings, the link is in the description. So, are you really, like, super sure about this? Honestly, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I don't know, pub crawls seem like they could be fun, especially when you're there with friends. But do they really think it's a good idea to do this on St. Patrick's Day? The literal day where everybody will be completely sloshed and fights are more likely to happen, and disorderly conduct is most likely to happen. Do Did they really think that this was the right day to do this? No. Ha. Funny. Of course, I'm not scared. I can hold my own. I just don't... I don't know. It doesn't sound, like, worth it to me. Do, do I really want to end the night? Like, best case scenario, I end the night off my face. Worst case scenario, I've beat up a couple of dudes because they were trying to, you know, be inappropriate with someone in our group. That's, neither of those sound fun to me right now. All right, okay, well, if you have a great outfit for it, then I guess it's fine. Let me see. <laughs> and you were the one in for the shock. Okay, yeah, no, um, just a little bit of the tips. Just this, like, little patch right here. I promised the kids that if they got a B average on the test, at least, they could dye my hair for St. Patrick's Day. And I promised them that if they got an A average on the test, they could dye my entire hair, my, my entire head of hair, but they didn't. It was a B, luckily. So I uh, got a little green patch. Uh, I, I tricked them into thinking that it was permanent, but it should, it'll come out in a couple of washes. Well, I'm glad you like it, and now that you have commented on the difference in my appearance, I must comment on the difference of yours, if you don't mind. That is crazy. No, crazy good. I don't know. I've never really seen you in high-rises before, and I don't think I've ever seen you in corduroys before, but they look amazing on you. Well, okay, that get, I guess that is true. There is really no other way to interpret that other than I'm saying your butt looks good in those pants. Your butt looks good in those pants. There, okay? Uh, moving on. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice the earring. That looks so... Did where, When did you get that? I mean, it kind of seems like, uh, you know one-time purchase to me like you're only going to use it once a year but if you're actually going to wear you know a shamrock like ding dangling off your ear multiple times a year it does actually look really good i don't know yeah 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 for i i, I do know it looks good
Well, uh, okay. The f- oh, the hat. Right, the hat. Um, you know, I guess my hot take is, although the fedora is mostly, uh, like, millennial cringe, never do that item, I think women can rock fedoras. Yeah, it almost gives off the opposite effect of a man wearing it. Where if a dude wears it, it's like, oh, a milady kind of cringe Reddit fella. And when a woman wears it, it's like, I'm I'm here. I'm here to be different uh, and not in the way that is annoying. I don't know what you mean about anything else. I have commented on practically every single thing in your arsenal that you are currently wearing. Now, are we going to be heading out to this pub crawl or not? Because if we hold back, the more we hold back, the less I want to go. And the less I want to go, the less I'm going to be willing to go. This shirt looks good. You want me to say what I said about the pants, but the other way around? Uh, that's ridiculous. Yeah, fine. Okay, fine. Your boobs look good in the shirt. Now, can we Can we go? You are literally standing across the house from me. It is very difficult to see what you are, what it says. Okay, well then come here and I will try to read what it says. Kiss me, I'm Irish. Okay, all right, cool. Uh, I am sure you are going to get some bites on that at the pubs, even though you are not Irish. Okay, not predominantly Irish, like 5% Irish. No, I'm not. We're not going to get into this. And I'm not. So you're Irish. Um, Cool. I'm glad that that's the case. I don't know what we're going for here, bud. Um, No, I didn't mean to upset you. I just... I, I, I don't know what you're, you're I, I can sense that you're trying to touch on something, but I'm unsure of what that thing you're trying to touch on is. Yeah, I, I OK. All right. Hint one. I, I just we, we could just directly say what the problem is, but sure, I'll, I'll play. I'll play the riddle game. I, I called you buddy. Bud, okay, I called you Bud. And the shirt says, kiss me, I'm Irish. And you would be upset about both of those things because that shirt is intended for me. Yeah. It just clicked. Uh, um, uh, I'm not, what do you mean? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I didn't know that you wanted something like that with me. I don't know. This is... Well, no, because it would, it would, one, it would be improper of me to completely disregard the rules of the day. And the rules are the day of the day is with the person's consent. If there is someone wearing a shirt that says, kiss me, I'm Irish, you are to kiss them because they are Irish because of the day. And two, no, hey. No, no need, no need to pout yet. Because let me at least give you a reason to pout before you start pouting. Hint: I'm not gonna give you a reason to pout. Um, I would enjoy a consensual mouth touch, even if it was not St. Patrick's Day with you.
Yes, that is exactly what I'm saying now. Do you do you want to do this or not? Do you, did you put on the shirt for no reason or are you going to come over here and kiss me? You know, does that expand past one kiss? Oh, okay. It's just the kiss is unquantifiable. No, for sure. It, it's up to the person who is Irish who is wearing the shirt to quantify how many kisses are to be received. Okay. So there are two options here. One, we sit back here and we have a conversation and we talk about our feelings and we completely talk it out or two we go to the pub crawl we do not get sloshed but we watch everyone else get sloshed and i enjoy the night holding your hand and you enjoy the night kissing me on the cheek whenever you want and we just have a good fun time and then we come back home and talk about everything. I am totally up for a third option. Let's hear it. And see, this is why you're the planned person, because you always come up with better ones than me. Fine. I do like you very much. You are very sweet. You have a wonderful sense of humor. Uh, and I grow more and more fond of you every day. And even though it hasn't been more than a couple of months, I feel our connection growing stronger and stronger. And I would love to delve into that connection in a romantic manner and see where that goes. Wow. 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 I just laid out there all on the line for you. And you ditto me? Do people even say ditto anymore? Is is that a thing? <sighs> You're right. That was much better than a ditto. All right, now if we are going to be in line with your plan, we should be heading out right about now. Yes, I promise we will leave halfway through because I believe that we have a lot of things to talk about. Oh, and uh, one more thing, by the way. Uh, uh, last one that gets to the car has to tell Maddie that Jacob's coming. No, she doesn't know yet. And if you get to the, don't get to the car first, then you are going to have to tell her. No, that's not, no, that's not fair. You can't promise me more kisses. I, as your baby, I don't know. Maybe whatever, we'll talk about it later. I think I deserve the kisses regardless. Thank you very much. And plus it's St. Patrick's Day. You're Irish. You deserve the kisses yourself. Come on, you said it.